Greetings dear friends. In this video, we decided to test how much aluminum we can obtain by recycling soda cans. For this, we collected 200 empty cans and compressed them using a pneumatic press we ordered on eBay for $150. Next, we fed the compressed cans into a DIY shredder. You wouldn't believe how scary this thing operates. Therefore, under no circumstances should you attempt to replicate this, as it is very, very unsafe. Then, we loaded the shredded aluminum into the crucible and heated it to 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. We had to remove a significant amount of slag, about 30% of the total volume. To prevent the metal from overheating and boiling, we had to quickly prepare a mold for casting Sprinkle the mold with baby powder and evenly distribute it across the entire surface with a brush. Next, we fill it with sand. For this purpose, we have special sand that withstands temperatures up to 1200 degrees C. We carefully remove the master model and heat the sand so that the metal fills all the voids. The next step is to cut off the pouring part with a bandsaw. We won't need it anymore. Then, we thoroughly clean the blank before painting. we cut off the top part of the blank using a milling machine. Unfortunately, the width of our machine is not enough to process the entire blank at once, so we had to do it in several stages. We fitted the resulting part to a car wheel, and now we can remove the excess. Use a template for precise drilling of holes for bolts.
Then cut the thread to secure the blank to the wheel. Move on to assembly. To facilitate the work, it is necessary to lubricate the rubber with a soapy solution on both sides. Unfortunately, we don't have specialized equipment, so we have to struggle a bit. Here we decided to add some style, so we removed the inscriptions from our rubber. We hoped this wouldn't affect the characteristics of the wheel. drill holes for the mounting bolts and proceed to installation. Aluminum behaved unexpectedly, but we didn't plan to ride on such a wheel anyway. Let's summarize. From 200 aluminum cans, we obtained 800 grams of pure aluminum and one decorative wheel, which we will use to decorate the wall of our workshop. Under no circumstances install homemade wheels on a car. It is prohibited and absolutely unsafe. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like, and until the next meeting.